persuasive speech, speech is should calls athletes be paid. And this is a widely debated topic. Um, some people say that they shouldn't because their um, donors are compensated in scholarships. But how far does that money go after tuition, uh, boarding, and ridiculously priced books and other hidden miscellaneous irrational college fees? Um, I was on the other side of the fence before I really started doing my research and before I started dating an um, NCAA athlete. Um, because I felt like, well, they got all this money and all this stuff, but then you really look into it, and they really don't get much money back from their scholarships. And these guys dedicate a lot of time into practice training and going off and doing uh, televised um, games. So, and the reason it's become more personal to me is because I am dating an NCAA athlete, and we currently have a baby on the way. So he is gone most of the time, and he dedicates everything to this sport, to basketball, to be able to have the chance to play professionally, and you know, in hopes of when he graduates, he can get a good job. So either or. So the typical Division One athlete player devote, devotes 43.3 hours to his sport, and that is 3.3 more hours than a work week. Um, although the NCAA claims athletes, college, college athletes are just students, the NCAA own, own tournament schedules require athletes to miss classes for national televised games. They also affect more for the NCAA men's basketball tournaments, it affects more than six days of classes, which is kind of crazy if they're athletes and not working. Um, and at some schools, it may require student athletes to miss up to a quarter of the class days in their spring semester. So here we have Florida State Seminoles. Um, currently, the NCAA Division I football championship is played on a Monday night, and this year, the National Football Championship game required FSU players to miss the first day of spring classes, which is pretty significant. Um, and also, these players bring in a lot of revenue for the colleges. They also bring in a lot of um, revenue in merchandise and a lot of focus on that school because of the players generating such buzz about the school and winning championships. Um, so here's a fact. The year that Boston College quarterback Doug Flutie, and fun fact, he lives here on Beach Side in Melbourne Beach. Um, won the Heisman Trophy as the nation's outstanding college football player, Boston's college's undergraduate admissions increased by 25 points, and its average SAT score admitted freshman Sky rocketed by 110 points. Much of the huge revenues collected from college athletes do not go directly back into the classrooms, and the success in college sports is believed to improve the application rates and caliber of admitted students at certain universities, which is proven. Everyone knows who Tim Tebow is. There are many colleges that use athletes as core market marketers of the university. Tim Tebow, for example. After uh, Tebowing and Tim Tebow took off this whole era, he generated 132 million in revenues for the University of Florida. He played a part in landing a 15. He played a big part in landing the school a 15-year contract in the Southeastern Conference, a 2.25 billion contract with ESPN, and another 825 million deal with CBS. He also increased the salary of the head football coach and the athletic directors. Um, there are some specific numbers there of how much their salaries increase. The University of Alabama's um, coach, um, he's right there. He, they reported that Nick Savant's new contract will pay him over seven million per year from his university. Yet, back in the day, it was frowned upon to pay coaches versus just as it's frowned upon to pay college athletes. So, overall. College athletes only dedicate a significant amount of time 
and there's a substantial amount of class to dedicate to games, practices, and workouts, but they take on the risk of being injured and missing the chance to play professionally and make the real money. The salary of the university coaches and the revenues of the NCAA, because of these games and the athletic merchandise and the popularity that it brings to the school, is more than enough to be able to compensate players for their time and effort. 